Breaking news out of Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. Governor Wolf is just about to announce that uh, masks will be required in all Pennsylvania all schools. Here he is. In states with lower vaccination rates, unfortunately, Pennsylvania is not among them. Medical infrastructure is crumbling under the strain. As the number of people who need to be hospitalized with severe disease sores past what hospitals can actually handle. Earlier this month in Louisiana, a children's hospital was so overwhelmed by COVID cases that they had to call in emergency relief from a federal uh, surge team. The nationwide surge is affecting Pennsylvania, just like it is the rest of the country. We're also experiencing an increased spread of COVID-19. Our success with vaccinations has helped to slow the spread here again, uh, and it has helped keep our hospitalization numbers low. Pennsylvania is among the better states in the country. But the virus is reminding us once more that the fastest way to end this pandemic is to get as many, po as many people possible vaccinated. All this is happening while schools are trying to open their doors and start off another year. And it's undermining the hard work of our educators, our teachers, and our school staff. And they're doing all they can, despite this, to keep students in the classroom. We need our students to be in the classroom. We've all seen stories from across the nation of students in school for a matter of days and then who are forced to quarantine for weeks because of a COVID exposure. We've already seen that in some of the schools that have opened here in Pennsylvania. Our students, our children, all of us, we deserve better than that. Our teachers deserve a place to teach. Our students deserve a place to learn. And all of us deserve to have classrooms that are receptive and willing and able to keep our students and teachers safe. After all, Learning in the classroom is vitally important for the social, the emotional, and the physical well-being of our young students. It's the future of our commonwealth. They're in those classrooms. Our schools and students have experienced a lot of disruption over the past year and a half. But we have the tools now to keep them as safe as possible while they go back to school. Again, high vaccination rates in a community really help slow the disease, and we need to keep coming back to that. That is our strategy here in Pennsylvania, and it has been working. But while the majority of children can't be vaccinated yet, we know that there are other reliable ways to protect them, those who can't be vaccinated, from the spread of the disease, including wearing masks indoors. Wearing a mask in school is necessary to keep our children in the classroom and to keep COVID out of that classroom. So to that end, the Department of Health is directing all early learning and child care and K through 12 private and public schools across the country, across the state, to require students and staff to wear masks when they're indoors. This is necessary to our future as a commonwealth. Among numerous organizations calling for this very, very reasonable precaution are the CDC, the American Academy of Pediatrics, and the Pennsylvania State Education Association. The majority of Pennsylvanians agree with this. Recent polling has shown that Americans and Pennsylvanians are largely in favor of masking in schools. And here in Pennsylvania, my office has seen an outpouring of messages and calls, primarily from parents of young children concerned about the last lack of mask requirements in the schools they're sending those children to. Those parents and community members are asking for our help to keep their kids safe in school, especially in places with high or substantial rates of transmission, which now actually includes every single county in Pennsylvania. It's crucial for students and staff to wear masks in school. This is a necessary step to keep our students and teachers safe and in the classroom where they all need to be and where we want them all to be. When students and teachers go home at the end of the day, it's going to keep their families safe too. Secretary Beam is going to give you more details in a moment. But the point is doing nothing right now to stop COVID-19. That's just not an option. Doing nothing is going to mean more sick kids. It's going to mean more days out of school. It's going to mean more grief for our communities and more problems for our economy. When kids are forced to quarantine at home, parents have to call off work. And again, that's bad for our workplaces. It's bad for them. It's bad for all of us. We have to act now to protect our students and our teachers. We need to put politics aside 
We need to get back to what matters, keeping students safe and keeping students in the classroom. That's what we need to do. Our Commonwealth and our nation are in a different place now than we were just a month ago. And our students need our help right now to stay safe and stay in school. So we really need to do this. Now I'm really proud to turn this over to Dr. Trudy Hecker, who's going to talk a little more about this. Dr. Hecker. Uh, you just Thank heard you, Governor. Governor Tom Wolf announced that masks Governor. will be required in all That's Pennsylvania Dr. schools, K through 12, and child care centers Dr. as well. This comes as many schools are starting in-person classes. Well, here in Philadelphia, we had about 100,000 kids go to school this morning. Some of them haven't even gotten home yet. And then in the suburbs, a lot of our Philadelphia suburbs started their schools uh, yesterday. So I guess it's going to have to be up to the parents and the kids to make some decisions tomorrow because this mandate is not going into effect until next Tuesday, September the 7th. Like I said, a lot of our kids are already in school, so you'll have to make a decision tomorrow if you want to uh, mask up. I think a lot of people will choose to do that uh, before September the 7th. And the reason is that contagious Delta variant. Here in Pennsylvania now, we're up to 3,200 cases per day. That's doubled uh, from what, man, just like four weeks ago in the state of Pennsylvania. So there you have it. More details coming up at 5, 6, 10, and 11, and of course, 24 hours a day at fox29.com.